everybody and welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be doing a video that i wanted to do for a while basically i wanted to do an album review i don't really buy albums or cds or anything like that because you can just listen to it on spotify um so I don't, i'm not really interested in albums that much but i was very interested in this one so so today i'm going to be doing an album review on Elvis Presley, The Wonder of You, with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. So here it is. I was very excited about this, like really excited. If you know me then you will know that I was so excited for this. The Philharmonic Orchestra have done another album with Elvis um, last year they, and it was called If I Can Dream and basically it was really, really successful so they did another one this year so i thought i would do a review of it because i didn't do a review of the one last year but i thought i will do one with this one so the track list is very different obviously like they've, they've done whole different songs um and to be honest the songs i think are very different like they're not the stereotypical Elvis ones that they always do i mean obviously they've got tracks that you will know, you will know. So you've got a big hunk of love. We've got a thing about your baby. Suspicious minds. Don't. I just can't help believing. Just pretend. Love letters. Amazing grace. Starting today. Kentucky rain. Memories. Let it be me. Always on my mind. And the wonder of you. So yeah, that's a very like a mix of very different Elvis songs, but I like it. So when, obviously, as you can tell, I haven't opened this, um, so you're probably thinking, how have you listened to it? Spotify, guys, it's on Spotify. In fact, I will link the Spotify down there so you can all give it a listen. I basically, that is actually my dad's Christmas present. Um, he doesn't watch my YouTube videos, so he'll, he won't see this, um, luckily. But I just wanted to use it, because it just kind of looked fresh on it, if you have it to hand. So obviously I was so excited for it because I'd heard the previous one and if you've heard the previous one it's very, in my opinion, it's quite emotional and it has songs on there that you probably feel a bit teary over. Well, I do anyway. <laughs> like a bridge over troubled water like gets me so much. I can't listen to it without crying. So I was kind of expecting like things like that when I would listen to this album. But to be honest, I think this one's more like I want to say upbeat and uplifting a little bit more. I mean, it has some tracks that, you know, you're a bit like, oh, but I wouldn't say it has anything, like, really, really big. Um, and that's not a bad thing, though. It's not a bad thing, like, they've done something different with it, which I like. Another thing that I really love about the Philharmonic Orchestra, instead of just being like, oh, this is the original recording of this song, we're going to use that. They don't. They've obviously, like, researched and gone, oh, like, let's use this version that he performed here or when he performed this or the Kung Love that's like Elvis Elvis sang that when he was younger so in his younger years so but the version they've used on this one is when he was older so it's it's good it was still the Presley who was married to Elvis had some involvement in this um which I like because I think she's not really had in, much involvement with other Elvis projects but she has with this one I think they're actually going on tour like really soon after the Philharmonic Orchestra. I'm not going unfortunately, but I will. But yeah, so I really like this and I think like, I wouldn't say there's like a negative thing that I have about it really. I wouldn't say there's anything negative. Maybe that like, it's a lot of people don't like, like Elvis fans, some Elvis fans don't like people like mixing with Elvis music, like they just like keep his music the same. Whereas, like, I don't think in the Philharmonic Orchestra, I don't think they make songs sound much different. But I, I don't think there's, like, a lot of difference. Like, they haven't just gone, right, we're doing our own thing. You know, they've adapted the music and they've just kind of gone, we'll just add in extra instruments. I don't know, I don't really know, like, orchestra stuff. But I think it's good. The one thing um, that I not like not 
like but I'm a bit like hmm is the case like I like the case obviously and I like the picture because if you can see they have um, here they have the orchestra right there and then they have obviously Elvis here so it's kind of like they've blended in it's kind of like a bloomy colour I don't really know it's like a really dark navy kind of colour whereas the other one was just black and it kind of I would say looked probably more slick and a bit nicer than this one that was probably my only like critique but uh, overall I think it's a good album oh and another thing they don't have any duets in this album because in the last one they had a duet with Michael Bublé and they did Fever which actually was one of my favourite tracks but some people didn't like it so I think they've kind of thought we're not going to do another duet again so it's kind of sad because I think Michael Bublé could have been back on the album again but you know my favourite track from this album would probably be it's so hard for me to pick but I think Let It Be Me because let It Be Me is one of, I really like that song, I really like Let It Be Me, so when I knew it was on this album I was like, ah, because it's not a very well known Elvis song, and I think it is a cover um, that he did, but it's brilliant, I love it, and it made me cry when I first heard it, so. but I also love Amazing Grace on there, and The Wonder of You, and Just Pretend, so I like all those ones as well, so it's like I can't really pick, um, and I don't really think I have a least favourite. I don't really think I have a least favourite. Suspicious Minds, like I like Suspicious Minds but it does kind of sound a little, like not much difference. But then again, like I feel like because they've heard the feedback, people saying like don't change Elvis's music, they're probably like let's not change it that much. I don't know, you can't please everyone can you? But overall I think this is a good album and if you haven't listened to it already, then get on Spotify, get down to your local like, record, CD, whatever, I don't know, like, HMV. And I think you should buy it, because it's brilliant. And if you have the first album and then you really like the first album, then definitely buy the second album. And I think I might go listen to it in a minute, because it's really cool. Maybe I'll buy my own copy and not use the one that I'm going to wrap up and give my dad for Christmas. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed my little album review. If you'd like to see more reviews then please give this video a thumbs up or if you'd like to see more kind of Elvisy themed videos because I like doing Elvis stuff then yeah give it a thumbs up or comment below and mostly comment below if you have this album or if you've heard the first Philharmonic album with Elvis because I would love to talk to you guys about it because it's one of my favourite albums. Thank you for watching and hopefully I will get around to filming more videos and see you next week. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.